First, I want to thank you for coming back to one of my videos. I know it's been a long time uh, since I posted a video, and I apologize for that. Work has been hectic, but I wanted to share with you just some new things that I've been doing. I know my previous videos have been more about my truck, but this one is actually about some work I've been having done on my house. I've got a 1920s Art Deco Tudor style house. It's all brick and stucco. And it's got a lot of Art Deco elements. I did a lot of uh, work inside that, that feature a whole lot of Art Deco elements. One of them is this corbel, which I have in the master bathroom. I pride myself on uh, really paying attention to detail, but when the architect designed this bathroom, I didn't notice that the entryway into this room was a square entryway where the rest of the house are arched entryways. And it always bothered me. Fortunately, I have a good friend, uh, Robin, from Fog Bank Industrial Arts, who is a uh, historian and an expert on the Art Deco uh, design. He actually spent 20 years on the Queen Mary helping to refurbish that ship, which is really the, the prize of Art Deco design. And what he made for me was this, this corbel taking my square entry into the toilet area of my bathroom and made it an archway. And I'm very lucky to have him right here. Robin, I'm just curious how you went about uh, designing this. What was your inspiration for it? And how did you do it? Uh, well, the design was kind of copied loosely off the Chrysler building. You see some of the triangles uh, that you would see on the Chrysler building in New York City. And then the setbacks are traditional Art Deco setbacks, the three you can see. And it's basically three pieces of separate sheet metal, 16 gauge sheet metal, uh, with a half inch border around the circumference and each one gets uh, about a half inch smaller and um, and then the, they were all uh, welded together and then uh, ground and sanded smooth and then set out to be chrome plated and then the copper overlay is just uh, just that it's copper and it's uh, kind of an overlay that has uh, followed the uh, contours of the piece and it's got a keystone in the center portion to Cover up because there are actually two segments in order to get the the um, you know the two pieces to, to mate up to, to each other and have a seam there and um, and then the copper pieces on the inside are kind of like little chevrons overlapping each other all screwed together and, um, and then just polished out. What I'm most impressed about, other than all the work you've done for me, and I'm going to feature some other work uh, in additional videos, is the attention to detail. The, the finery where everything fits together perfectly and nothing looks like it's haphazard or, or thought thereafter. And I think it's a really incredible uh, piece of work. I know it took you a lot of time um, to, to do this piece, but it, it is absolutely phenomenal. Oh, so thank you. Uh, we'll do some more videos and show some of your other work. Uh, he has done some amazing things that I think you might be interested. So check back here. Thank you for your time.